Sandy Hook, the Aurora Movie Theater and Arizona Supermarket. Tonight, survivors of all those dark moments giving the Highland Park community some lessons in healing. And they admit they are still in the midst of recovery. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas is in the newsroom with their stories. Tim. Joan Erica, this town hall meeting tonight was an outlet for the people of Highland Park, but it turned into more than that. It unfolded into an example of just how prevalent mass shootings have become across the country. We knew instantly something horrific was unfolding. From a Highland Park mom who shielded her daughter from gunfire. A piece of our daughter's innocence was stolen that day. To the parents of a woman who died in the Aurora movie theater shooting. We don't recover from what has happened, but you do move forward. From a neighbor of the Sandy Hook shooter. Every child in that school heard what was happening. To former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords, who suffered a brain injury when she was shot in the head. Our lives can change so quickly. Mine did when I was shot. Those are just a few of the stories told during the hour-long virtual town hall. In the chat section, the people of Highland Park typed out the heartbreaking questions they've grappled with. Ten years later, how are the children of Sandy Hook, now teenagers, doing? You know, they still need therapy, um, unfortunately. The group pushed through the sorrow and shared resources and advice for people coping with trauma. The speakers also praised and encouraged the North Shore moms who quickly traveled to D.C. to call for gun reform. We would not have been able to pass the assault weapons ban last week without your voices. We are living in challenging time, but we are up for the challenge. The city says there may be similar town halls down the road. They are also planning to eventually create a permanent memorial for the victims of the July 4th shooting. Live in the newsroom, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Okay, Tim, thank you.